Hello everyone, welcome back to my second channel. Welcome back to Jack in the Books. Today, the stakes are high. My reputation is at risk right now because I'm both a Swifty and a fan of William Shakespeare. What, what would his fandom name even be? And a bunch of you have been tagging me in this video that has kind of blown up on YouTube over the last couple weeks, which is called Swift or Shakespeare, where a college professor tries to guess whether a line is from a Taylor Swift song or a Shakespeare play. I mean, two literary greats going head to head, truly. And so this is me trying <laughs> to do the same thing. I haven't watched the video. I've been sent it so many times, but the second I saw it was a Buzzfeed quiz, I was like, pause, start the cameras, let's go. And I just ordered food <laughs> and it's coming in 12 minutes. So I feel like this is the perfect way <laughs> to kill 12 minutes. So I have my laptop here with the Buzzfeed quiz on it. You might think you can tell a Taylor Swift quote apart from a Shakespeare one, but no, I'm 99% sure you can't. Challenge accepted. Game on, this is my time to shine. Now I have a degree in English literature and actually fun fact, my the best mark I ever got throughout my whole degree was in my Shakespeare module. And over the course of a year, I read every single Shakespeare play but like now when I look back because I read them all in such quick succession it's just this blur <laughs> in my head of like comedies, tragedies, history plays, like everything but I'd like to think that I maybe retained some of the iconic lines or that I can recognize his writing when it's put in front of me, you know? So we'll see. I feel like this is gonna be pretty hard because Taylor Swift has some absolutely exquisite lyrics. I'm assuming they're not gonna have like, hey kids, spelling is fun, but who knows? Um, let's give it a go. Okay, bring it on. I don't know if I'll be able to show my face in public if I don't get at least like 80% here. 75%, let's go easy on me. Number one, I'd meet you where the spirit meets the bones in a faith forgotten land. That is Miss Taylor Swift and Ivy, I want to say. <laughs> Imagine if it's Shakespeare now. Okay, cool, correct. Taylor Swift, it's from Ivy. Okay, strong start. I do believe her, though I know she lies. <laughs> the options are Miss 11 Grammys or Mr. Zero Grammys. I can't believe Taylor Swift fans are like, William Shakespeare, kind of a flop. I do believe her, though I know she lies. I think I'm leaning towards Shakespeare. Okay. Oh, that's from a sonnet. I do believe her though I know she lies yet. So I should have thought of this. Um, the sonnets will be written in iambic pentameter, which means 10 syllables that alternate like de-dum, de-dum, de-dum. Okay, that's good. That's good to think about going forward. <laughs> Although, let's be real, does that rule out Taylor Swift? No, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if she just springs some iambic pentameter on us somewhere. Let me wipe it first. It smells of mortality. Um... I can't imagine Taylor Swift singing, let me wipe it first. Um, and like, if she did, it would definitely be a TikTok sound, <laughs> I think. It's from King Lear, baby. Is love a tender thing? It is too rough, too rude. 100% Shakespeare, of course. Yeah, Romeo and Juliet, boom. Is it romantic how all my elegies eulogize me? That is Blondie. And I'm trying to think of the song for added points. Like extra credit. What's the song? It's the one, take me to the place where the poets went to die. The lakes, the lakes. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, this is going surprisingly well. Who coaxed you into paradise and left you there? Coaxed sounds like a Shakespeare word, but it also sounds like a Taylor Swift word, which I guess that's why the quiz exists, right? <laughs> really cracked the code there, nice one, Jack. Paradise feels like a Taylor Swift word. I genuinely don't know but I, for some reason, can't imagine the word paradise being in a Shakespeare play. I really think this is where I'm gonna get it wrong, but I'm going to guess Taylor. And we'll see, but I, I don't know what song this is. I can't even look. Oh, Taylor Swift, it's from Coney Island? That's a lyric from Coney Island? Damn. Did the twin flame bruise pain you blue? That is Taylor freaking Swift. That is from All Too Well, 10 minute version, Taylor's version from the vault. Damn right. And what a beautiful lyric it is too. Shakespeare could never. Though the chameleon love can feed on the air. This is 100% Shakespeare. I'm not sure which um, play this is from, but he often uses the imagery of like feeding on something. This feels like something that Iago would say in Othello. I don't think that's right, but let's see. Correct, okay, it's Shakespeare, but it's from The Two Gentlemen of Verona. I would never have got that, but I did know it was Shakespeare. So that's a win. I want auroras and sad prose. I want auroras and sad prose. <sighs> okay, no clues there. I want auroras and sad prose. I don't know. Aurora feels like a Taylor Swift lyric, as does starting with I want. 
Would Shakespeare have said sad prose? I feel like he would have used the word like melancholy, not sad. Auroras. Would, Aur would Shakespeare have used auroras? I don't know. I went to a restaurant called Aurora last night. It was lovely. But that's beside the point. Um, I'm gonna go with Taylor Allison Swift. Please don't- Yes! Oh, thank God. But that's also from the lakes. I swear I've listened to these songs, so these lyrics just going straight over my head. And I'll stay forgetting any other home but this. <laughs> they put Shakespeare as ancient person. Jeez, what is this person's beef with William Shakespeare? Let the man rest, damn. Okay, I don't know, I'll be honest, but I think that the ellipses, <laughs> like the dot dot dot, is a bit of a giveaway here. I think that- I think that means it's probably Shakespeare, because I can't think of when you would have like an ellipses in song lyrics, because surely you would just go to the next line. Having said that, I think the title, Ready For It, has a dot dot dot, right? But that's a title to a song, I don't think song lyrics <laughs> would have an ellipses in them, so Shakespeare. Okay, Romeo and Juliet. I want spirits to enforce. Crikey. I think that's Shakespeare too, that sounds like a Shakespeare kind of thing. So, shall we- it could be like a reputation lyric though, you know? I want spirits to enforce da, 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 da. <laughs> We can try and we like, but I, <laughs> I don't recognise that one. So I think- I think Shakespeare- do you know, I'm genuinely like, getting a bit nervous. Let's see. Oh, okay. From the Tempest. Cool. Okay. I want spirits to enforce. You are a wicked villain, despite of all grace. That's 100% Shakespeare. There's no way it would be a Taylor Swift lyric. Um, it's from The Merry Wives of Windsor. There you go. They're picking hard ones. They're picking rogue ones. And the old widow goes to the stone every day, but I don't. I just sit here and wait, grieving for the living. And that's also from Ivy, right? Taylor Swift. Also from Ivy. I wounded the good, and I trusted the wicked. Hmm. Daylight, because I was listening to it like earlier today, like the live from Paris version. Taylor Swift. Yeah, Daylight. Okay. This is a state of grace. That's a Taylor Swift title, right? Yeah, it's from a state of grace. I thought, you know, I pressed that so quick. I just had the sudden, like, as I was waiting to see the answer, I had the sudden fear that it was like a trick question, but it's fine. We're all good. Oh my god, there's more. Buzzfeed, I don't know how many more I can take. The Chronicle of Wasted Time. I think that's. Shakespeare. Okay. When I was at home, I was in a better place. It's really hard reading them out of context, like with no, trying to picture like what the tune could be if it is a song. Taylor Swift, I know you're up there. Please, give me this one. <laughs> I've somehow highlighted the word Shakira, um, <laughs> but it was correct. It's from As You Like It. There you go. This is a learning experience, I think. All we are is skin and bone, Taylor Swift. Time, mystical time, Taylor. Frickin' Swift, Invisible String, love that song. And I think inspired by Jane Eyre. There's a line in Jane Eyre about an invisible string um, connecting them to each other. Um, I did a whole video on my main channel about that. Falling feels like flying till the bone crush. <laughs> There's no way Shakespeare would have written that. Yeah, that's from Gold Rush. Um, brought forth an incandescent glow, tarnished but so grand. Now you're just making them easy. True love never did run smooth is Shakespeare. This hope is treacherous. Oh my god, last one. Oh my god, and my DoorDash is about to arrive. Treacherous is literally the title of the song. It's Taylor frickin' Swift. 23 out of 23! Da 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 This was my time to shine. <laughs> I'm so buzzing. Master of masterpieces. You already know so much Shakespeare, so it only makes sense you're familiar with the Shakespeare of our time, Taylor Swift. You're definitely way too into poetry and love astrology. <laughs> That's a bold assumption, but there you go. Taylor Swift versus Shakespeare, not a freaking problem. See you next time. <laughs>